Hi everyone, I have my Stitch Fix box. I'm excited to try this on. I hope that you stick around and join me. And you can see by this uh, wagging tail here, I've got my puppy friend, Mr. Griffin, with me. So I hope he helps me decide. Stick around and join us. We'll be right back. everyone I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel I am so excited to be sharing a stitch fix box with you I just want to welcome my subscribers my viewers again thank you so much for your support I appreciate it more than you know if you are new to my channel I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there I would love to have you come back and join us I'm going to try to link a card up here somewhere to kind of show you the basics of the stitch fix box so that we can get right into this but everything you need to know is always going to be right on the inside of the box you're just going to go online you can use if you use my link below you will get a I think it's a $25 styling fee with the styling fee is waived and you get a $25 credit I would also get a $25 credit so that's a win-win situation that way you get to try it it's no risk risk you don't have to sign up for yearly subscriptions or whatever you can just do it that one time and if it's something you like you can stick with it and if it's something that you decide not for you you don't have to do it again so anyway getting into my bundle and I did peek online so I kind of have a clue about what's in here but sometimes the uh, best way to know if you like something is by trying it on because sometimes you're going to look at a certain color or style and say oh that's not me and then you put it on and it's like oh my gosh I loved it how did I never wear the style before so anyway this is my bundle I've got five things to try if I don't want to keep it or I want to exchange it for a different size I use this prepaid mailer that goes through the United States Postal Service I'm going to have my invoice that I'll hang up here so that you can uh, see the prices or any item numbers in case it's something that you want I did kind of quick read my stylist note I don't have Jen I have Nancy again but she did such a wonderful fix for me last time so anyway there's her note right here letting me know it's the 28th fix um, I did like those tribal pants that I had last time but they just had a different uh, they just had a weird fit on me so she did send another pair to try I got a pair of black jeans to try and I think I did request a pair of black or gray boot cut jeans I think I requested like a pink type sweater to go with it so she's got a sweater in here to go with it a dolman top which hasn't always been my style but I am happy to try it and again I've got Nancy again so I'm excited to uh, check out the pieces that she got for me and again I'm gonna hang up not hang up but go up with this invoice in case it's something that you love in your box or you love in this box you'll have the item number the name so that you can request from your stylist Alrighty. so the total of my box I can see is three hundred and twenty seven dollars um, if I were to buy all I would get the discount of 80 25 percent discount of $81.75 I do have the style pass which is probably coming up for renewal for maybe next month um, so I don't have any credits for that and so my buy all total would be $245.25 and again it looks like the most expensive item in here is going to be the jeans which are $99 everything else is uh, right in line with normal stitch fix prices so anyway i'm excited going to do a quick try on and then we'll come back for a recap and i'll see you in a minute
And back for the recap. Sorry about the hair. It's like the more things you try on, all of a sudden, it's like you just can't even fix it anymore. So the first item, and I really like these slacks. I've just only got one issue with them. These are from Gen 7, and they are from 7 from Mankind, 7 for all Mankind. They're $99. Love the fit on top. Love the fit through the thighs. I love the boot cut on these. These are a size zero petite, and she said that she had picked this one because I've had luck with um, the length before, but this is just, it's too short for me. Um, I normally, I mean, even if I wore sneakers, I don't like the amount of the sneakers that's hanging out, and for $99, I'm going to, I want to wear these to work, and I'm not going to wear them with my sneakers hanging out. I did quick go online, and they are available in just a size regular zero, so I don't know because it had such a great fit in through here, I don't know if I change to a zero, if I'm if I'm still going to have that fit there, because that was perfect. Um, the length to the knees was perfect. I just need it to be like another inch to two inches longer, because I'm going to wear it with, I want to wear this with wedges, I want to wear it with heels, I want to wear it to work, and I want to dress it up for $99. I don't want to just have a pair of jeans that I can wear with sneakers around the house, because around the house I usually just wear socks. So anyway, I'm a little disappointed with the length of these, but I love the fit, and I am hoping to check out that size zero to see what the length is on those. For $99, I'm almost happy with these. Love, love the fit otherwise. Next, we have this beautiful sweater. It's a really pretty shade of pink and gray stripes. This is from Tea Berry and Weave. It's called the Quesa Color Blocked uh, Sweater. It's a, they're calling it blush. It's size small for $99. This was $64. And for $64, if this was in the middle of winter, this is a nice sweater. I think, it, again, it's too big for me under the arms, so I don't know if this would be available in a petite size or if if they have an extra small, if that would kind of help the fit in through here. Um, I do like this color block on the side, how it's going down in the different gray with that right there. For $64, I think even though it's the end of the season and probably these sweaters are going to be on sale in the stores, I probably wouldn't size down just because of that. But um, probably if it fit me and it was a perfect fit, I would probably end up keeping it. So again, but this is a really pretty sweater. It is very, very soft. Next, we have this pink clover. They say this is a Stitch Fix exclusive. This is called the Delina or Delino Raglan Brush Knit top. It's in light gray. This is a size small petite. I think, still think it was a little big under the arms, but I don't think it was anything to complain about. It is nice and soft. It had a nice length for wearing with jeans. Um, if I did want to wear it with leggings, it did go down low enough in the back to cover my fat rear end. Um, I just love the colors on this. I've been looking for a nice baseball shirt. Um, so anyway, I think this one, for me right now, it's a keeper. It's $42. And again, this one was a small petite, and I think it did have a good fit on me. I think it might have been a little big under here, but nothing too bad. Next, and I know anyone that watches my channel probably saw me in these pants at the beginning and said, Nancy doesn't do crop pants. But anyway, I, the color, it, and I mean, it's a, they're called navy. These are from Tribal. It's the Fia printed trouser. It's a straight leg. Um, I don't think the color's coming out too good, but it's really pretty shade of navy. It's a different kind of material. It's really, it's kind of like a crepey kind of texture, but it's really nice. I think these would be really nice to dress up um, for work. Again, they were they were too short on me. I, I don't do crop pants like that. Um, they did have a funny fit, again, in through the, the crotch, kind of like the other ones. Um, the ones last month were black, so I don't think you could see it on camera, but I think you could see on this the trouble that I'm having with some of these pants. They just had that extra material in through the crotch, and then they kind of like bagged and, and stuck kind of funny at the knee. So if you were going to be sitting down at work every time you stood up, you're going to have to kind of pull them down. So $58. Um, I, I know other people get these pants and they really look nice on them. They swear by them. They wear them to work. This is my second pair of tribal that I've tried, and so maybe they are just not for me. I I did not like the fit on these at all. Oops, sorry, Mr. Griffin. Lastly, we have the a dolman top. And I know I usually don't like dolman tops on me, and maybe if I had put a turtleneck or a long sleeve under it, I may have liked it better. But for me, I'm just not crazy about the dolman style. 
this is a nice lightweight for summer it's got a really nice weave um, I mean I can see through it but I think on it's not see-through it's a nice open weave if you love the uh, dolman style because on some people they are just really really flattering I think you need a bigger chest for dolmans to look right and I don't so maybe that's why I don't like them on me um, again the length I think was really nice on that I think it's a nice pattern for summer I think it would have worked really well with those uh, the tribal pants and again, um, this is the Layla Jada, the Ralphie Cowl Neck Knit Top. They're calling it Taupe, and this was in a small petite, and this is $64. So for me right now, I'm looking at just keeping the pink clover, the baseball top, for $42. I am thinking of, because I did like those Gen 7 pants, I love the fit on um, into the thigh and the knee, and the flare was just perfect on the boot cut. Um, around the waist it was perfect so I'm hoping that a size zero is a little bit longer and the length maybe inch and a half two inches that's what I'm hoping so for me I'm thinking those are the only two items that I'm thinking of keeping let me know your thoughts and I hope you like this kind of newer format that I go a little bit faster and look forward to your comments I hope you give this video a thumbs up and we'll chat again soon everyone bye-bye oh and I hope you like Mr. Griffin poking his nose in here and there Bye-bye.